After a bit of a silence and, let's be honest, not very relevant or useful information that would be giving us in the word of the week, we finally have some concrete new info about City Skylines 2. So I'm going to be going through all of that today and I'm going to be breaking down three things that they've mentioned. The brand new asset pack, which is the Beach Properties asset pack. Modding, because it is coming and it is coming soon. And updates and fixes. So the modding bit and the beach properties asset pack, they're both actually going to be coming on the 25th of March. And let's start with that asset pack. First of all, you've got a waterfront zone, which is a new residential zoning option dedicated to waterfront buildings, allowing you to redefine your city's coastline. As for the beach properties themselves, each theme adds growable residential buildings for your new waterfront zone, from luxurious waterfront mansions to charming beachside cottages. You've also got signature waterfront buildings. They're tailored to fit into both the European and North American architecture themes. And those beach properties will feature 70 new assets, including 10 North American residential buildings with three levels, that's 30 assets, and 10 European residential buildings with three levels. Again, that's 30 assets. You've got six signature buildings and four new trees to have a go at. And the beach properties is also available as part of the expansion pass waterfront which is included in the ultimate edition as the expansion pass has begun a little bit later than they set out for during the fall. They also have updated the roadmap. So the roadmap for March 25th you will get the beach properties asset pack or the deluxe relax radio station. I said the word or there I meant and I mean both of them. And in Q2 2024 you've got modern architecture creator pack and the urban promenades create a pack with the soft rock radio station as well and then in q4 2024 we've got the bridges and ports expansion and the cold wave channel radio station if you have the ultimate edition you don't need to pay anything extra this is all free however if you have the base game and you like these you will have to pay there are no prices at this current time let's move on to modding so alongside the beach properties we're going to be getting the first wave of the city skylines to modding and it will be in beta which will release which will initially support map and code mods and with the map editor you can make maps with terraforming tools that you're used to and input height maps to create highly accurate depictions of whatever it is and you can also upload your creations to paradox mods and future updates will improve on these tools and come to include support for asset mods and we'll see some updates before the 1.0 release of this and this also means that Paradox mods will be launching for modders to upload your creations and for players to download creations of your favorite map and code modder creators. Finally, updates and fixes. So along with all this, there's going to be a substantial amount of performance updates and general fixes and improvements. They are hoping to see improvements to performance, especially on lower end spec computers. And the full patch notes will be posted along with the release of the beach properties on the 25th of March, which is in a week's time. And this week, they're also going to be releasing three developer diaries on the topic of modding. On the 19th, it's going to be the Paradox Mod to Sea Skylines 2. On the 20th, it's going to be the map editor. And on the 21st, it's going to be for code modding. And that's it. That's everything that they've given us as of today for that brand new announcement. But I'd like to know your thoughts on all of this. Do you wish that they had awaited on DLC or do you think they, they should? Because they have promised people and people have bought the Ultimate Edition. So that is a factor there. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and I'm going to conclude this video. If you enjoyed it, found it helpful and like to see more content like this one, make sure you are subscribed. As well as City Skylines 2 updates, I make several informative updates on racing simulation games. And if that interests you, stick around and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.